The new Jamie Hosford Football Center is coming in 2019. We're here in the current one to talk to head coach Matt Mitchell about all the things that are coming with the new center. And coach, let's start with a new expanded training room. Your athletes have a new space where they can really get themselves ready to go. 100%. We have a, a training room and a rehab room in the same space, which is awesome for our student athletes. A lot of our operations are based down here at the football center, so it allows us to do pre-practice uh, treatments and taping and post-practice, everything really centrally loca located for our guys. A uh, bigger space, more technology, just a better way to try to meet the needs of our 125 student athletes on the football team. I'm glad you mentioned how many athletes there are. It seems like this roster gets bigger and bigger every year. You're running out of space in there, so now this new one will have an expanded location for them to not only work out, but also they'll have a place to lounge as well. There's a lot of advantages to the new Jamie Hosford Football Center. The expanded locker room is probably top of the list. You know, we currently have 90 lockers and we have about 125 athletes. We have uh, a lot of our athletes are actually sharing a locker and it's a lot of bodies in a very small space. So uh, with the expansion of football teams, and that's really changed over the past 20 years, um, it was a much needed addition. So now every kid in our program will have his own locker and will also have some space in there where the players can kind of spread out and uh, have a little bit of downtime too. We've got some TVs, some couches, a little bit of a player lounge area. We spend a lot of time down here at the football center, players and coaches. It'd be a great opportunity for our guys to develop a little bit more team camaraderie, some more community, because they'll have a mutual space that they can hang out in in the locker room. A lot of people see the three hours on Saturday that goes into it. They don't see the number of hours during the week that you as coaches spend. So what does these new meeting rooms for you guys mean? It's a huge addition, not only for our staff throughout the course of the day and throughout the course of the year, really, when it comes to evaluating recruits, recruiting, and then uh, prepping for games. Um, we have more opportunities to just have a better space. Um, Audiovisual is huge too, technology with film breakdown for our staff and then for our players, it's going to provide a much better teaching environment. Our current setup, we have guys crammed into the weight room, crammed into locker rooms to watch tape, um, crammed into hallways for position meetings. Um, with this expanded space, each coach and our staff can have a position meeting with each of our group and a dedicated space for that meeting. That allows us to become better teachers, and if you're better teachers, I think you're a better coach. That will allow our staff to really do that. So it's going to help our staff when the players aren't around. It will really help our staff when the players are around because we'll be better teachers because of the technology and the space. And then finally, Coach, Grand Valley has a proud tradition. What does this football center do for the future of Grand Valley football? Well, I think it sets the stage. You know, we've done a lot in the external uh, feel of Grand Valley football with the Kelly Family Sports Center um, a few years back and obviously the expansion of Lubber Stadium and the video board. A lot of things that are seen on game days and, and enhance the game day atmosphere. We haven't really done anything uh, for the day-to-day -day operations for the players and the coaches for probably the last 20 to 25 years. And uh, we spend a lot of time down here, the players and the coaches do. I know that uh, some people say it's Division Two, but our players spend as much time as anybody in the nation when it comes to preparing. It uh, addresses some, some needs that we needed for the internal operations for our players and our coaches, which were much needed. A lot of facilities in the GLIAC for the players were, were ahead of us, and now I feel like we've taken that leap back to have some championship-level facilities for our players and coaches. And obviously that has impact in recruiting future student-athletes, whether they're high school kids or transfers, to have a building like we have, I think is going to provide huge dividends as we move forward. The Jamie Hosford Football Center is coming your way in 2019. To find out how you can help, visit gbsulakers.com slash donate.